Let's take a look at how Tyru Atolo defended all Nikki Ryan's leg locks in June of 2020. First, we got to look at this saddle position that they are entering into. These DDS guys really like this. This is Eddie Cummings here. He takes the top leg, puts it inside between Canuto's legs, and then the bottom leg needs to come around and behind the knee to trap the leg. Here we have Gordon Ryan doing the same thing against Abreu. His top leg is between Abreu's legs, and now he just needs his bottom leg free and back behind so that he can get the lock. And then here we have Gary Tonin doing this last year in ADCC. He did a flying version of it. Right here you see as Gary jumps, his lead leg is in between, and then his back leg comes back behind the knees. Now let's take a look at how Ty stopped this. Right here you can see Nikki's top leg is in place. He just needs to get the bottom leg up behind the knee. But what Ty does is he forces Nikki's top leg down so he can free the knee line. Right here, Nikki's almost in position. He has a top leg almost between Ty's legs where he needs to be. But what he needs to do is get the bottom leg underneath Ty's leg. And what Ty's doing right here is he's controlling the ankle. See how he's got the ankle? He's not letting Nikki's bottom leg get underneath. And then what he does is he takes the top leg and clears off of Nikki's hook and comes to the other side. And he pulls Nikki's leg into his lap and he attacks a straight ankle lock here. As you can see, Ty's leg is not trapped at all by Nikki. In fact, the only thing that Nikki has to control Ty's leg is his arm. Ty's legs are completely free, so he's got a free shot at an ankle lock here, but he's not going to get it, so he goes ahead and moves on. Throughout the whole match, you can see that Ty is stepping on Nikki's bottom leg. He's doing this so that he can avoid getting put into that leg lock while also trying to work a pass. Right here, Nikki's top leg's almost in place. He just needs to get the bottom leg back behind Ty's leg. But Ty's foot is planted on the ground and his weight's on it. So what Nikki does is he pulls Ty into him and that takes the foot off the ground so that he can get the leg underneath. But Ty takes the top leg and clears it away, killing any chance of a leg lock that Nikki may have. Right here, Nikki's in a position again, but he needs this top leg up a little higher between Ty's, but Ty's doing a good job at controlling that ankle and pushing it down. He's also controlling the bottom leg by stepping on it and by just grabbing a hold of the ankle. Nikki needs to bring that back behind, but he's not able to because Ty is controlling it. And they're in the same position they were earlier where Nikki basically only has control of Ty's leg with his arm. But Ty basically sprawls out of this and backs away and resets. Right here, Nikki's close to where he needs to be, but he's a little low on the knee. Ty's pushing the leg down and clearing his knee line. And he's also collapsing Nikki's legs together. And this is what ultimately wins him the match because he uses this to pass the guard. Right here, Nikki's bottom leg is free. He needs his top leg down a little lower, but Ty's doing a good job of preventing that to get between his legs, and he's bringing it across his body, killing the chance of a leg lock. Nikki needs the foot between Ty's legs here. Ty's doing a good job at controlling the foot and he grabs behind Nikki's head. This prevents him from inverting so that he can get that leg deeper. Nikki bells out and they reset. This is a position that Nikki tries a lot. 
he shelves the top leg on Ruotolo's outside leg and he tries to get the bottom leg underneath so that he can get the full leg lock. And Ty's doing a good job at pushing him across. Nikki sets him down, Ty turns and grabs a hold so that he can stay on top. And now the battle is that Ty's gonna try to take Nikki's legs across his body. Nikki's trying to keep his legs wide here. You can see that he's got a wide stance. Ty's gonna try to force that knee across his body and use his body to control the leg and eventually work the pass. Nikki has his legs locked to prevent the pass, but eventually he unlocks his legs. And when he does, there's a space right here where Ty is going to be able to back step through that, gain side control, and win the match by position. <laughs> 